What's going on everybody? My name is Jeans, back with some ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword. Before this video even starts, if you find yourself enjoying the content, make sure you show it by smashing that like button, clicking that subscribe button, and let me know in the comment section down below. Seriously, the support on these videos has been phenomenal. I can't thank you guys enough. We just passed 400 subs and we're pushing up strong. So guys, in today's video, we are rocking out with this new team that has actually been on the rank ladders for a good bit now. People have been using it a lot. It is this Jelly Scent Trick Room team. And I can't wait to use it. People have been using it all the time and I'm wondering what the hype is all about. So we're gonna test it out today and see how we can do. So guys, rocking in our front spot, we have this Togekiss rocking a fairly similar moveset to what it usually does. Rocking with the Yawn, Follow Me, Air Slash, and that Dazzling Gleam with a Babiri Berry. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Then we got this Rhyperior right here, rocking the weakness policy, which I'm actually hyped for. Rhyperior is so good with the weakness policy, just don't put him in up against a special attack because his special attack is poo poo. It stinks. He's rocking EQ, high horsepower, rock slide, and protect. Then we got this new Pokemon right here, Jelly Scent with the Cobra Berry, rocking Giga Drain, Scald, Trunsap, and Trick Room so we can set that up. Also rocking Water Absorb so it can't get hit by water moves and it'll soak it up and get some HP. Then we got the boy, the Life Orb, Hydreigon right here, rocking Dark Pulse. Flame Thrower, Draco Meteor, and Protect. Got the Arcanine. Arcanine's so good. Arcanine is so good. I love having Arcanines on teams. Rocking the Citrus Berry, Intimidate as its ability. Rocking out with Flare Blitz, Snarl, will o and Protect. Then we got my boy Ferrothorn. I love Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn is just such an awesome Pokemon. Rocking Iron Barbs, kind of like his little own Rocky Helmet. That's his ability. Rocking with Leftovers as its item so it can regenerate some health with Gyro Ball, Power Whip, Leech Seed, and Protect. But guys, if you'd like to use this team for yourself, rent the code is at the bottom of the screen. Use it up. Have fun with it. Do it all. Also, guys, let me know for question of the day, what games would you like to see return to the Nintendo Switch? For me, I've been dying to see a Mario Strikers game, and I want Pikmin 4 to come out. But without further ado, let's rock on with these battles. Battle number one coming at you guys. This guy is rocking that Arcanine Rotom Mower. This mower guy is going to cut our lawn today. <laughs> He's rocking Gyarados, Extra, Togekiss, and that Dragapult. And that Dragapult. Okay. Okay. Who are we going to rock out with? I might just start off with that Togekiss Jelly Scent. Kind of show off that little combo. Show off Jelly Scent. That'd be nice. Who else are we going to rock out with? He is very physical attacking here. He is very physical attacking. I think we're going to bring in that weakness policy by Piri in the back end. And then maybe roll out with that... With that Hydreigon. I think Hydreigon could do some work here. Hydreigon has that Flamethrower. Can mark on that uh, Rotom. Right? And that Extra Drill. I'm liking that. I'm liking what we're seeing here. Let's rock out with that. Let's rock out with that right off the bat. Toad Kiss starts off with that Jelly Scent. Go with that Ride Period Weakness Policy and that Hydreigon in the back. Let's get rolling. But guys, if you'd like to catch more content from me, you guys know the deal. Head in the link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. If I'm live, come hang out and chat it up. If not, hit that follow button and swing by later. Seriously, tons of fun over there. Tons of fun. We do rank battles over there and Shiny Hunt. And Shiny Hunt, dude. It's awesome. Tons of fun. And also, guys, let me know in the comments section down below what Pokemon would you like to see a team built around? Me and my boy Nick Morale have been building teams. He's been helping me out with competitive and all that stuff, too. And we want to build some teams, some off-meta teams, some different teams. But let me know what Pokemon you would like to see us build a team around, and we'll probably make that happen. But let's go. Rotom's going to pop out here with the Garrido. So we're chilling. We're chilling. That Rotom could be scary. Could be scary. Considering all that lightning. But did we just go for a follow me here? Or do we just go for a protect? Who do you think he's going to rock out into? What do you think he's going to rock out into? Could go for a yawn. I think follow me could be the play. I think we can soak up a few hits, especially from that Gyarados. But that Mo. But that Mo. I think we're just going to go for a follow me here. Hoping that he goes for a grass move, not an electric move. Then we're just going to roll out into a trick room. That is playing. We're going to roll out into a trick room with the follow me. There's no way he's Dynamaxing early on. This early on, no way. Especially with this combo. I don't think he is going to go for it. I think he might go for maybe a bolt switch or something, but it's coming out on my toad kiss. Hopefully he goes for that grass move, trying to go after my jelly scent or something. And he'll just go after my uh, toad kiss. Because that'll be better. That'll be better. So I can see him swapping on my, my what's it called right here? My toad kiss. But he is going to Dynamax. If you take out my toad kiss, I'm going to rock out into my right here. Dynamax, set off that weakness policy and roll out in that trick room. That could be huge. That could be huge. I can hit you with some max rock falls. This work, but he is going to Dynamax this boy right here. This boy right here. Are you going to go for a Max Lightning? Are you going to go for a Max Lightning? But that's a special attack I got to watch out for. With the with like the Max Overgrowth. Let's see what he's going to go roll into. We're going to roll into the Follow Me. We're going to roll into the Follow Me to get us started here. Let's roll out, boys. Let's get it. Let's get rolling here. What's he going to go into? The Max Lightning. Okay. My Tokus. Is he going to eat this up? We'll eat this up. Okay. That character just might take it out. But we're going to get this Trick Room rolling here. And the thing that I am worried about is that Rotom. I'm not really worried about that Gyarados too much. I'm not worried about that Gyarados too, too much. 
Gonna roll into a power whip here. Can we eat that up? Can we eat it up? We do eat it up. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Maybe we get a yawn off before we go out. Trick Room's gonna roll out here. So we are going to, what's it called? I think we're gonna go first here. My Both my Pokemon here are gonna go first. Um, we could roll out into a yawn over on that uh, Rotom. Because that's the thing that I'm worried about, is that Rotom. So we're gonna roll out into a yawn over there. And then we're gonna, uh, do we just Strength Sap that Gyarados here? And not really worry about it later on. Let's Strength Sap onto that Gyarados. We're gonna drop its attack. Not really worried about it. Let's go. Jelly Sand's gonna go first. He is the slowest Pokemon in his Trick Room. So the Strength Sap is gonna come out here, which is beautiful. Drop its attack. Drop its attack, which I want to see, which is awesome. And then Yawn's going to come out here and put that Rotom to sleep. So once that Rotom goes to sleep, we're going to go to town on it. We're going to go to town on it. He's going to take us out now with that Waterfall. And he's going to come out with the Max Lightning on us. Eat that up. Nope, let's not eat it up. Can my Jelly Scent eat a shot? I think my Jelly Scent can eat this uh, Max Lightning here. Actually, I don't know. In this electric terrain? Come on, eat it up, Jelly Scent. I need you here. Eat it up. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So he is going to go to sleep next turn, right? Does he get one more turn here? Does he get one more turn here? Hmm. What's the call here? Do we go? Who are we going to go into? We could go into Hydreigon here. Hydreigon could be good here. He could be good. Or do we want to set off that weakness policy on that Rhyperior? I said we set off that weakness policy. Have that Jelly Scent go down. And then I think we can just run out with this team. I think we like, these two Pokemon set up the Tokus and the Jelly Scent set up. And now we can rock out here. Now we can rock out. So do we think he's going to come after us? I said we protect just in case. I say we max guard just in case he does come after us and make sure he gets to sleep. I say we do this. I say we do that just in case he comes after us. And then we just roll into a Giga Drain here. We just roll into a Giga Drain. Try to get a little bit of health back and eat up a shot, but I don't think we're going to eat up a shot here. What's up? We're just going to do a little bit of damage to that Gyarados. I don't see it being focused Sash anyway, so. But still, just take it out a little bit of damage. Hopefully that Mo doesn't come after us. I don't want that Mo to come after us, but we want to set off this weakness policy. That's what we want to do. But if that, what's it called, if that Rotom, that Rotom will go to sleep after this turn. But the reason I'm going into that Max Guard is because I don't want him to just swap on us with a Max Overgrowth. If he hits us with a Max Overgrowth, we're dead. Special Attack, like I said in the beginning, he withdraws Rotom. Wow. Okay, he withdraws Rotom for some reason. Who's he going to go into? An Arcanine? Okay. Both Physical Attackers. Both Physical atta Attackers. Maybe we should, we should just Strength Sap there. Dang, dude. We should have just strength sapped there. We probably would have regained a little bit more health. But the attack comes out here. We're going to go into a max guard. Bad play on our part. I tried making the read. Did not happen. But we are chilling. I think we're fine. He's out of a Dynamax. He's throwing out double physical attackers here. We should have went for the strength sap on that Gyarados. Should have went for that strength sap on that Gyarados. Our health is going to go through the roof. And our defense is huge. It is huge. But it's okay. I went for the max guard. I don't think it's going to help out too much. Let's see. This is that Gyarados. Going to push it with the water move. Let's see what that, uh, let's see what that Gyarados does. We're going to Strength Sap that, what's it called, after this. Because I don't think that thing's going to kill the Jelly Scent. We're going to Strength Sap that Arcanine. He's going to go for a Power Whip. On who? On my Jelly Scent, right? Did Jelly Scent eat it? Nope, Jelly Scent does not eat it. I still think we're chilling. I still think we are chilling. We're going to bring out that Hydreigon here. And I think we're sitting pretty here. Hydreigon's going to come out here. We might just Max Rockfall on the, uh, what's it called? Get the Sandstream rolling. On the Gyarados. We're sitting pretty. We have Max Quake, too. If all, we also have max week so what's gonna what's gonna help us out more we can boost our special defense that might be huge that might be huge we can go off on this on the arcanine but i think max rockfall is the play here i think max rockfall is the play here because i don't want him swapping out of that arcanine and going and then wasting another another turn here then we could go into that dark pulse on this arcanine here and potentially get that flinch and potentially get that flinch off let's see how this is gonna roll out here we have our dynamax He's going to withdraw the Arcanine, like I said, like I said, and probably go back. Oh, he's going to go into the Togekiss. So, the ground move wouldn't hit it, and we'll take it out with the Max Rockfall here. That's fine by me. Okay, so we can say, see you later to you. You're done. <laughs> murked. Murked. And then the Dark Pulse is going to pop off on this Togekiss, which is nice. Which is nice. And then we go for another Max Rockfall and start slapping on these fools. Just start slapping on them. So nice. We set up with the Jelly Scent. I wish I would have used the Strength Sap when I could instead of that Giga Drain. That would have been better for me to go out with. But let's go. Do a little bit of damage to him before we go out. Well, we're not going to go out. We're a Life Orb. And I think we do outspeed. We outspeed because of the Trick Room. How many turns left in the Trick Room? Maybe one more turn here. So we got to use it wisely. We got to use it wisely. We got to get the Special Attackers out of the way. We got to get that Toad Kiss done. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go after that Toad Kiss hard here. I'm going to go for that Max Rock Ball and I'm going to double up on my attack on him. Because the reason I am doubling up is in case it doesn't kill him, I need to get that thing out the way so it doesn't dazzle and gleam and just murk on my, what's it called? 
on my Hydreigon. So let's see. Let's go for another Max Rockfall here. Go after her into Togekiss again. What do we just go after that Arcanine? Hmm. I kind of want that. No, we won't. We gotta get that Togekiss out of the way. Like I'm saying. Like I'm saying. Do I go for a Protect or another Dark Pulse? I'm waiting to go for a Dark Pulse because it should be able to take it out. The Max Rockfall and this should be able to take it out. He's gonna withdraw Arcanine. That's fine by me. We're not going for your Arcanine. Like I see you trying to go for this hard swap. It's not happening. It's not happening. You're just giving us free turns here. You're just giving us free turns, and I'm liking seeing this. I'm liking what I see. So yeah, do some work on him. See you later, Togekiss. And the reason I did go for Dark Pulse after this was because it would either take out the Togekiss or like that. If he would have stayed in with the Arcanine, we would have got Dark Pulse off and potentially get a flinch. So nice damage there. We're sitting pretty. We are sitting pretty here. Do we have one more turn with the Trick Room? I think that's what it's going to come down to. It's Arcanine versus us. We'll eat up an Arcanine shot, hands down. Show me one more turn in the Trick Room. If we get one more turn in Trick Room, we got this in the bag. If not, it's going to be close. It's going to be pushing it close. Nope, it turned back to normal. Dang. Okay. So Trick Room is gone. Trick Room is gone. We're sitting in a tough spot here. He's going to go Arcanine here. We're going to go for the Max Quake on him. And then we're just going to go for the Flamethrower over on that, uh... On the what's called. Actually, we can go for an EQ. We could go for an EQ, but that thing... The EQ won't really do much. I'd rather just go for a High Horsepower. Because the EQ both... Our po both the Rotom and my Hydreigon is just going to dodge it. So high horsepower is probably the better call here. Or we can go for a Rock Slide. Is Rock Slide super effective to both? Nope, just one again. But it could go for some flinches. Let's go for a high horsepower here. Over on the Arcanine. Then we're just going to rock out into a Flamethrower on this Rotom. Come on, show me the play calls. I know he's going to do some work. I think he might take out my... Uh, he's going to go for maybe a Leaf Storm with that Rotom and take out my... Uh, what's called a one hit? Let's see. Flamethrower, we outspeed. Can we take that thing out? That'd be beautiful. Take him out. Say see you later. Let's go. That's the game. That is the game. GG, baby. GG. That is what we needed out the way. That Rotom was going to slap on my... What's it called? On my boy. On my Rhyperior. But we will eat up this burn up. Hydreigon's fine with that. Ooh, does that burn himself? Burn up should. Oh, burns itself out. And high horsepower is going to roll in here. Yeah, see ya, boy. That's not super effective? Wait, huh? Wait, who? Wait, why is that super effective? I thought that would be super effective. It's a little confusing. Did Burn Up, like, change himself? Did Burn Up change him? We're gonna go for this Rock Slide on him. Potentially get that flinch. And then we're just gonna Dark Pulse him. We're gonna go for that double flinch move here. Double flinch move coming out here. Let's go. Our Hydreigon will outspeed. But wow. He burned himself up. I, does that change him to, like, a different type or something? Dark Pulse does some work. We will outspeed, so it depends. Whoever he goes at. Ooh, wow. Smart play him. Can we get the flinch on him? Can we get the flinch? Show me that flinch. It's kind of... It's coming down here. It's coming down here. Snarl's going to come out here. Can we eat that up with the Hydreigon? Eat up, Hydreigon. Yeah, dude, that's game. Night-night. He tried taking out... He tried taking out my Hydreigon and doing a little bit of damage to my Rhyperior. But now, that is 100% the game. That's 100% the game. The Rock Slide's going to come out here. I don't think the Rock Slide's going to kill him. But, so my Hydreigon outspeeds, and I can see him just leaving the match. But that is how we started off. That is how we started off. Beautiful. Set up with that Jelly Set and Togekiss. Get our Hydreigon and our hard-hitting Rhyperior in the back end. Let's we'll go for an EQ here. Let's we'll go for an EQ, and we'll go for another Dark Pulse. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's get it, guys. Let's get it. Is this guy skididdling? He's bouncing. Boogie and skididdling cancels out the battle, and we get that win. Battle number two coming your guys' way. This guy is rocking out with a Dragapult, Arcanine, Vaporeon, Togekiss, Snorlax, and an Exegel. And an Exegel. I definitely want to set up Trick Room again. This team is based around that Trick Room. So, Jelly Scent, you're coming along again. Togekiss, you're coming along again. It's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. So, we're going to set up with them too. Then, who do we want to bring in the back end? Who do we want to bring in that back end? Do we want... I think, um... What's called is going to come in here? I think... Hydreigon's definitely going to come in here. Steel does some work on that token kiss. And he also has the flamethrower that can do some work on that extra drill. And same thing, he can do some work on that Dragapult in a trick room. So we're going to go with that. And then in the final spot, do we go with Ferrothorn? Or do we go with Arcanine? I see we go with Ferrothorn. I think Ferrothorn takes up that last spot. Let's do it. Let's rock out with that. So bang, token kiss, jelly scent in the front spot again. Bring that Hydreigon back because that life orb is awesome. And then we can have that leftovers Ferrothorn, man. Leftovers that Ferrothorn that can do some work on a few of these Pokemon. It's also rocking Gyro Ball. He has a Leech Seed, which is huge. So if we can get that Leech Seed set up with the leftovers, like, whoo, health is boosted. We just keep boosting our health. We go into some Protects. We do all that good stuff. We do all that good stuff. But who is he rocking out in the beginning? I want to see it. I want to see who you got. Who you going with, big dog? Who you going with? Ooh, wee. Ew, wee. He's going with Arcanine and the Vaporeon, which I'm fine with. I am fine with. 
I think we can eat up all these. Intimidate's gonna pop out here. We're special attackers. We are special attackers. We're gonna set off this trick room here. And I don't mind boosting speed of these Pokemon if I really have to. Maybe we just go for a follow me here and just set up the trick room. I can see him potentially going for the free swaps. So we might want to go for a yawn. Hmm. Let's just follow me. Because this thing, that, what's it called? That Ark and I might have an electric move rocking on it. And we're just gonna rock out into this trick room. No problem, no biggie at all. Let's go into here. Follow me, pops out. And we'll set up the trick room once again, dude. I love trick room teams. They're one of my favorite kinds of teams. For sure, for sure. Let's go. Snarl's gonna pop out here. We're gonna eat up a nice little berry. Soak up some of that damage here. That's what our berry does. He doesn't even do like anything to us. It was kind of a waste of our berry a little bit. But he crit it on Tokus. It was just a waste of a berry. He kind of just wasted our berry out, which is fine. He's going to drop our special attack, which is tough, which is tough. And the Yawn's going to pop out from... Ooh-wee. Onto my Tokus, which is tough, which is tough. And we're going to start Strength Sapping out here. Do we start Strength Sapping out here? Or no, let's just start putting on some damage here. Let's start putting on some damage. We're going to go into an Air Slash on this... Uh, who do we want to start doing work to? I don't think the Vaporeon's too, too scary. So we're just gonna, we're actually just gonna go straight for this Arcanine here. We're gonna go straight for this Arcanine here and see what he does. And you see him potentially withdrawing that Vaporeon, because I'm not scared of that thing at all. Maybe it's rocking Ice Beam, like, I don't know, but I just see us being fine with it. He's gonna yawn us at first. But I wanna get this Arcanine out of the way. Arcanine is just such a strong and versatile Pokemon. He's kinda gotta go, he kinda gotta go, but we're not gonna Dynamax here. We're just gonna go for a nice little Scaldy Poo here. Do a little bit of damage. Maybe get the burn. Maybe get the burn. Nope, no burn. Air Slash is going to come out here. We're going to try to get that flinch on him too. Nice, not bad, not bad. And I can see another Skull going off. But another Yawn's going to come here. He's going to put both of our Pokemon to sleep and try to set up something here. Which is tough. Okay, cool. He flinched and couldn't move. And we have, we could potentially take him out here. We could potentially take out this, uh, what's called here. We're just going to go for a Dazzling Gleam. And we're going to go for a Scald over here. We're going to go for a Scald on this Arcanine. Potentially trying to take him out here. Hopefully we can. We will outspeed. So this would be nice to get this Arcanine out the way before our Jelly Scent goes to sleep. I'm hoping. I'm hoping, baby. Let's see. Oh, you hunk of junk. He goes for the Protect. Smart move by him. Smart move to actually go off into that Protect and wait for us to go to sleep. Smart move. I give him credit. I give him credit. Tokus is fast asleep and our Jelly Scent is going to go to sleep. Look at the little crown on Jelly Scent. Look at the little crown on Jelly Scent. I think that's hilarious. I think the crown on Jelly Scent is hilarious. It reminds me of the King Jellyfish from SpongeBob. Mm, what are we rolling into now? I said we just try to wake up. I said we just try to wake up going into a Dazzling Gleam and another... What's it called? Scald. Hopefully someone wakes up here soon. Hopefully we can have just a quick nap. Power nap, we're gonna call it. We're gonna call it a nice little power nap. Hopefully our Pokemon have the power nap. Come out here and start murking again. So yeah, he's gonna withdraw and try to set up. Who's he gonna go into? Who you gonna go into, huh? 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 <laughs> he's gonna go into the Togekiss. Probably gonna Dynamax that thing next turn. He's gonna withdraw the Arcanine. Okay, that's fine by me. That is fine by me. He's going to try to Dynamax that and do some work in a little bit. Okay, dude, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that extra drill coming out here. Jelly Scent is fast asleep. Wake up, Togekiss. If you wake up, I'll Dynamax you next turn. Hands down. Mm. Do I predict it? Do I go for a prediction here? Uh. Mm. He's going to Dynamax. He's going for that Dynamax. I, I, like, I just know that's coming. How many turns left in our Trick Room? Let's see. Let's see how many turns is left in this Trick Room. We have one turn, so... Hmm. He's gonna Dynamax. We know that for a fact. We're gonna go for the Yawn on this. On this Togekiss. Because I can see him Dynamaxing that Togekiss. And then we're gonna go into a... Uh, do we go into a Shrent Sap here or Giga Drain? Could go into the Giga Drain because if this thing is Focus Sash, we can kind of neglect this Focus Sash right here. So here comes a Dynamax. No Dynamax. Wow. Bold play, man. Bold play. We're both still asleep. Jeez, we're going to try to roll out into another trick room. Air Slash is going to come out on my Jelly Slant. My Jelly Slant will eat that up. Pretty good, pretty good. Iron Head's going to come out here on my Toad Kiss. And the Berry comes out, yo. This Berry. Let's get it. Berry comes out. We'll soak up that damage easily. Okay, we're chilling. Okay, so we can... The match just went back to normal. We got to set up this trick room once again. So do we go for a follow me here? We're going to try to yawn. We're going to yawn on this uh, Toad Kiss. We're going to yawn on the Tokus, and we're going to rock out and try to set up another Trick Room here. We're going to take it slow. We're taking it slow. This team is very bulky. Iron Hand's going to pop out here again. Bill, oh, we did some work on us. Did some work. Can you wake up, Jelly Scent? Jelly Scent, I need you to wake up and set this Trick Room. You can set this Trick Room. We're sitting pretty. That's all I need is you to wake up here and set this Trick Room. Come on, buddy. Yes, Jelly Scent. Sets the Trick Room. Okay, now we're sitting pretty fine. I think we're still in a decent spot. We're still in a decent spot here. 
So we are gonna go first. Who do we roll out into? We could roll out into a Ferrothorn. Start rocking out into some Gyro Balls here. And save our Hydreigon Dynamax for later. We could set up a lead seed. We could set up a lead seed here. But we're gonna go for the Shun Sap on that, what's it called? On this boy. Or do we just go into a Gyro? We're gonna go for a Gyro Ball over here. We're gonna actually go for a Shun Sap over here on this, uh... Or do we go into a Giga Drain? Let's go into a Shun Sap here. Let's just Shun Sap him up. Try to knock down his attack a little bit. I can see him potentially Dynamax in here. I could see him potentially Dynamax, but I think we're chilling. I think we're chilling just fine. What you got for me, fool? What do you got for me? I think that Arcanine's... Oh, not the Arcanine. The X-Drill's gonna go up into Dynamax. I hope not. I hope not. We're saving our Dynamax for our Hydreigon Life Orb. Because that could potentially come in clutch at the end. Well, he played the Yawns very, very well. Or he can swap out. Or he can swap out thinking we're gonna go for a Water Move on an extra drill. That's fine by me. We will outspeed the next turn and go into Giga Drains. Because he might go try to get that Vaporeon in. He might try to get that Vaporeon in. And then put some more Yawns on us. So we're going for this Gyro Ball right on this uh, Togekiss here. Can you move? Like, make a move, buddy. Make a move. We're trying to play this game. Okay, Gyro Ball, we outspeed. Yeah, you, we maybe should have set up our... Ooh, nope, smart call by us. I was going to say, maybe we should have set up our lead Seed. And the Weakness Policy does tee off here, which is fine. We will outspeed, so he's not going to get too, too much off with the Weakness Policy here. Sun Sap's going to come out here. We're going to regain some health here, and then we're going to lower that Extra Drill's attack, which is perfect, which is perfect. Get some health. Look at that. Nom, 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 nom. Full health, baby. Woo-wee. Such a good move. Air Slash is going to come out here on who? On whom, may I ask? That does nothing. Wow. Wow. That did a, a lot of damage. But we eat up. We eat up from the Sunset. And now we're going to go into a Leech Seed. We're going to go into a Leech Seed and then into a... No, we can't Leech Seed that. Uh, do we just Gyro Ball it? Hmm. We're gonna leech seed you. And then we're gonna go into a nice little Giga Drain here. Now we're just going to his skull. Make sure that thing dies. We're gonna put this thing away. Maybe he, he might hard swap into that Vaporeon. But we're saving our Dynamax here. We're gonna try to get this uh this leech seed off, which we will we will go first. So the only person that's hitting is that what's it called? Is that Exigil. For some reason, I thought the Air Slash would have been not very effective because we're steel, but we're part grass too, so I think it kind of is like negative, negative, cancels itself out. But we're chilling. We're chilling here. What do you want, fool? What you want? What are you gonna do here? He's gonna Dynamax his extra drill. Show me that extra drill. Or no, show me the toad kiss. That'd be better for the toad kiss because we got speed. Come on, please be toad kiss. That'd be the best play ever. It's the extra drill. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say this guy's not that dumb. <laughs> He's gonna go extra drill here. Probably try to uh, take us out here. And we're gonna shun sap him up again after this. That's my that's my plan. We're gonna get this lead CD poo wall. So lead seed's gonna come out. Yeah, ye. Yeah, take that leech seed, buddy. Take that leech seed. And we're going to take out this toad kiss with this scald here. See you later, toad kiss. See you later. Dude, Jelly Sen is just owning this. Been here forever. Critical hit. Nice. We didn't even need it. <laughs> but still, just rub it in your face. We'll take that critical hit. Now, what's he going to go for? A max quake over on my, what's it called? Are you going after my Jelly Sen or my, my Pharaoh Thorn? My Pharaoh Thorn eats that up, no problem. Eats that up, no problem. We're going to go into a protect after this. We're gonna go into a protect. You're gonna raise your special defense. That's fine by me. We're gonna go for a scald on you after this. Then we're just gonna wait this out. We're just gonna wait this out. Leech Seed comes back out. We're gonna go into a protect. I think we can eat up another Max Quake if you wanna go after us with it. That'd be fine by me. <laughs> so who else is he rocking? So what what do we just take out two of his Pokemon? No, he still has that. Yeah, we took out the Arcanine. He has that Vaporeon still. We can't go into a Giga Drain, but I'm thinking we're just gonna Strength Sap over here. We have Water Absorb. We're sitting pretty here. We're gonna go for that protect, try to waste out more turns. Or do we just go into that? Oh no, he still has the Arcanine. Okay, so we're gonna try to take out that Arcanine. So he does still have the Arcanine and he still has that Vaporeon. But we're just gonna wait out this Dynamax here. You can you can knock down over attack. I really don't care. Uh ch -ch 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 -ch. we go for Gyro Ball? We have the Leech Seed set up. Let's go, let's just go into a protect here. Just in case that uh that comes out on us. We're gonna go for a scald. Over here, we're gonna go for a scald on the Arcanine. We will outspeed the dude. The Trick Room is rolling. The Trick Room is rolling. And then we'll sell our Dynamax with our Hydreigon. So we're playing this out very, very well. I'm really liking how we're playing this team right here. This team is actually really good. But the Protect comes out from him. We're back up to 50 HP. I think we can take a few hits. Hopefully that Arcanine goes after him. What's that Arcanine going to do? Arcanine's going to Protect. That's fine by me. We'll eat up this Max Quake. And we'll, uh, the Dynamax is going to start wasting out here. The Dynamax is going to start wasting out. I don't mind going for another Strength Stat. I always can do that. But Max Quake's going to pop out here on my Jelly Sen or... 
Who you going after? Who you going after? My jelly scent. Okay. Eat it up, jelly scent. Okay, we're just gonna go, go for another strength sap after this. We're gonna go for another strength sap here. You can raise your special defense all you want, buddy. All you want. Let's go. Look at that. Leftovers popping out here. And Leech is gonna do some work. But strength sap's gonna bring us all the way back. And we're gonna drop that what's called attack. That extra drills attack. We're gonna drop it here. But Leech gives us some more health. We are chilling. Well, I think we're sitting pretty here. He might want to go for something, but we're just going to go for a... Do we go for a power whip? We go for a power whip on. Not very effective and... Not very effective. We're just going to go for a power whip over here. And we're just going to go for a strength sap. How many how many turns is left in that trick room? We got to see that. Let's see. Let's see. We got one turn left. So this strength sap has come up big. We're going to go after this. Excadrill. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to start taking this thing down. We'll go first here. We'll regain all of our health. We're chilling. We're sitting pretty here. He's going to withdraw the Arcanine. That's fine by me. That is actually perfectly fine by me. It's beautiful for me. I should have power whipped him. I should have power whipped him. That would have been beautiful. But we power whipped that thing. Do a little bit more damage there. And the Shun Sap does come back out here. And we're going to regain even more health with our Pokemon. And then his Dynamax is over. And we go straight into a power whip. We have the water absorb on our, what's it called, on our Jelly Scent. I can see him start to go for yawns. Max Quake's going to pop out here. And we're just going to power whip that thing and then go for a Scald. Go ahead. Go after my Ferrothorn. You didn't eat it up, Ferrothorn. I thought Ferrothorn would be able to eat up a Max Quake. But it's fine. Oh, we got a crit, dog. He got a crit. But, dude, I think we're sitting fine. We go into a max flare. He's going to go into some yawns. Let's see. Let's see how we're going to roll out here. We could go for another trick room here. We could go for another trick room here. But we got to take out that uh, extra drill. We have to take out that extra drill here. I'm not worried about that Vaporeon. He's just going to start yawning me and all that good stuff. But let's see. Let's take this slow, dude. This is a nice long match. But, dude, I feel like we're playing this very, very well, dude. That Jelly Sense has been here. For, since the beginning but here we go raw in here we can set the uh the drought and then we can just go into a do we go into a giga drain or set the trick room again seem going for a yellow one or do we make sure that thing's dead let's set the trick room trick room would be huge we're gonna set a third trick room for this game a third trick room for this game we're gonna be eating up here and now we still have our dynamax like i said yo, we're just gonna wait out our dynamax and play this nice and slow his Dynamax is gone. We're sitting fine. That Arcanine is basically dead. If we can get this Trick Room rolling, I think we're sitting good. I think we're sitting very, very well. And I think our Jelly Set could eat up a lot. So, because we're rocking Water Absorb, I think he's going to try to go into a Yawn. He's probably going to Yawn my Hydreigon. Should be tough. But still, we're going to be able to get up two shots and we can get that extra drill out the way. Because once we get that extra drill out the way, I think we're sitting fine. Jelly Scent is a beaut, dude. I love Jelly Scent. <laughs> but now I'm seeing what this uh, hype around this team is. I'm seeing a hype around this team. Like, yeah, I saw it a couple videos, people making them and all that. And I was just like, dude, this team's dope. This team's dope. Like, I was just like, at first I was like, Jelly Scent? Really? And then I looked at its moveset. I was like, wow. Okay, I can see why it could be dangerous. See why it could be very, very dangerous here. Well, here we go. Hydreigon's gonna rock out here. <laughs> Hydreigon's gonna rock out here. Let's see what, what's gonna happen. Do we outspeed with our Hydreigon? I don't think, oh, we do. We get off the max player. I don't think it's going to kill him. His special defense is actually up high. Can this kill him? That'd be dope. Nope, it doesn't kill him. We'll take him out next turn. I can see the yawn coming out from the Vaporeon. Let's see what happens. But the drought comes out here. The drought. Drought comes out here. We're going to lose some of our HP. And what comes out here? The Iron Head. The Iron Head comes on my jelly set. <laughs> Eat that up. No problem. No problem. Muddy Water is going to come out here. Water Absorb. Thank you very much. That's why that ability is here. Thank you very much. And that is going to be... We're going to wrap it up here. It's just about to be wrapping it up here. How'd you guys just soaking that up? We're gonna take out that uh, extra drill. Trick room's gonna roll out here. This dude turned off his switch. This dude turned off his switch. No way. No way. This boy said, I'm done. Instead of just waiting to run, he turns off his switch, unplugged it, wrapped up his controller. I'll show you exactly what he did. I'll show you exactly what he did. It's like at a Smash tournament. This is what he did. This is what he did. He saw he was losing. This is, this is exactly what he did. It's like at a Smash tournament. This is exactly what he did. I'm bringing out my controller for this one. He literally was going to lose, and he was like this. Turns off the console, and he's like, you know what? I'm out of here. Not even going to shake anybody's hand. Does one of these. Does one of these. That's what he does. And then, and then he gets up, and he leaves. That's exactly what this guy did. But, yo, that is how you wreck it out and get that W. That is how it's done, guys. We made that guy turn off his console and rage quit, which is hilarious. But we only rocked into two battles because they were some longer battles. And we actually showed off this team. We showed it off to its fullest potential and showed what it could do. 
But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, make sure you show up by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. My the code is at the bottom of the screen. If you guys would like to use this team, I highly recommend it. This team was so much fun. Also, guys, let me know for question of the day, what games would you like to see return for the Switch? Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.